Hi, it's Mac. So I moved from the US to the UK about six months ago. And in that time, I have found a lot of differences between the US and the UK. And I'd love to point those out for you here. So one of them is right behind me. There we go. An aga, cast iron stove. This always on, this is really unique. So we don't have these in the US. I, I've read that the company is trying to like make a foray over to the States, but most people that I know of in the States have never heard of this. It's similar to an old cast iron stove that you may have found. This has been around here in the UK for about a hundred years or more. So let me just kind of walk you through it really quick. Here is heating pad. It's always warm, which is really great for when you're trying to thaw something out. You can just drop something on that really quickly. It's always warm, really wonderful. Here is across this top. You see there's no flame. We have boiling water in here, but no flame. Radiant heat. I'm gonna show you how it works here in a couple minutes. So this one's really hot, and if you want to simmer, you would use this pad right here. You know, I kind of touched that not too long ago. Still kind of hot. It had this one has uh, four ovens in it. So here's one. Two, now these are all maintained at different temperatures, so they don't always, they don't all work exactly the same. There's some different temperatures on these. So I think two of these would be more warmers and two others would actually be ovens, roasters. So really great for roasting low and slow if you're interested in that type of cooking. But here's the heart of the whole system right here. So this home is set up with kerosene. So there's your kerosene line right there. Here's your thermostat. <clears throat> it goes from uh, low, right now it's set on one. So you saw it's boiling water at one. And the heart of it, you know, I'm gonna actually open it up for you so you can see. Okay, here's the heart of the system right here. There we go. That's what make an auger work, is a burner. It is always on, 365. Really great in the winter time because it heats up this whole end of the house. Uh, we had this one serviced just a couple of days ago. It's producing a lot of heat. So that's how an auger works. If you think about uh, your hot water tanks, if you have a gas hot water tank, this is kind of that same principle. So there you have it. So there you have him sitting on the floor here in front of the aga. We use this to, uh, to cook quite a bit, um, boil water on it of course. We haven't tried to bake in it yet, we haven't done any rolls, so we haven't done anything big. We have a conventional uh, stove here as well, which we've been using that. But now that we've gotten the auger serviced, I think we're going to spend a bit more time. I love cast iron cooking, so I think we're going to spend a bit more time seeing what I can do here low and slow. Definitely get a couple roasts going. Um, see what else we could cook on this as well. So there's a lot of things you could do with it. You could cook, you could use it for heating. I've also heard that you could, you could use it to dry some of your clothes on those little, not what they're made for, but people have been known to hang their, hang their clothes on those and let them kind of air dry. So it's really a wonderful thing. You don't have these in the US, not often. Uh, this is cast iron, it is very expensive. I believe it was put in when the home was built. Uh, right now they probably run about uh, 1,300 to 20, thousand pounds i'm oh, sorry 13 13 thousand to twenty thousand pounds which uh transferring it back to usd rough approximation i'll look it up and put it on the screen for you but yeah so you can get these uh put in if you have a british country home an american country home but it'll be very expensive for you this one was in the place here already and it works really wonderful we're really kind of glad we have it especially in the winter time when it's cold in the summer we'll probably turn it down low but uh, we're gonna let it chug along. So this is a classic Aga, means it always, it's always on. The, the, the company Aga now makes different models that you can turn on and turn off at different times, but this one is one of those that's always on. It's, uh, and so you have to think about that when you're considering your, your energy bill. Uh, we have to get um, gas deli all delivered here on a pretty regular basis, so you have to definitely think about it. This is burning oil, you saw that flame in there. So this is gonna be burning all the time. It also heats this side of the home, and the UK really is much cooler than the United States, in my opinion. Uh, my experience has been that it's pretty cool here. We'll see what the summer is like. I got here in the fall, so in the fall through the winter, 
I've been grateful to have this auger here. We'll see what it's like in the middle of the summer. We may turn it down. We may even have to turn it off in the middle of the summer. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But for now, I'm really glad to have it. But you do have to kind of be aware that it's burning a lot of oil. Not a lot, but it is burning some. So it's gonna definitely affect your energy usage. Aga is a brand name. This was first created, I believe, in the 1920s by a Swedish scientist, Nobel laureate, actually. I'll look up the details. Um, but it has been taken on over the next hundred years by the Brits. It's very common to find this in British country homes. Uh, the gentleman who I work with for this home, um, he was very excited to, uh, to break this down and explain this to us and tell us how it's quintessentially British, and I do believe it is. Uh, I'm really glad to have the opportunity to work with it here. We're definitely going to be cooking with it more. We may post up some videos as we cook some things here on it. All right, that's it. Hope this was helpful. See you next go around.